Hi guys, it's Monday evening, 7 o'clock, well, just gone, and uh, I've been a bit productive, I've uh, had a friend pop up, he's collected his mum's bike, and I've put a new chain on his other one, because even though we changed the crank, it was still slipping when he was trying to get up hills, so... That's the last bit to change, so if it still does it, then I'm stumped. <laughs> but uh, as I had to get his mum's bike out from the pile... Where's my finger? There it is. Out front. Um, I bought Cat's Custom Trikes racing bike up here, and I've finished that off. I'll just take it for a quick test ride tomorrow. Um... It's all working, as far as I can tell. The brakes work, the gears work at least. I don't know if it rides okay, because I haven't taken it for a ride. But As far as the gears and brakes, and the fact the wheels go round, as far as that goes, it works. <laughs> uh, I've just got to find a bolt to put through here, because I'd actually forgotten about that, because I'm um, quite tall. I've <laughs> uh, got the baggage rack. I've got mud guards, but I haven't got the brackets for them, so I can't put those on, but I can put those on at a later date. I could uh, pedal over to Cats sometime and take the mud guards with me, strap them to the mud guard on my high, to the mud guard, to the baggage rack on my um, hybrid bike or something. Anyway, Nemo is probably hiding from me, because I have just uh, shouted at him. Which is rare, but he did do something that really did piss me off. He's got this habit of jumping up onto my stack system here. And when he did so, he went to jump from there onto here, and that flew straight off down there. So I hope to God he has not completely fucked my deck. Um, already no it's all gone together fine again <laughs> um, nothing looks damaged I know that it needs a new drive belt because uh, that there is what's left of the drive belt <laughs> so that explains why I could hear the motor spinning but the platter wasn't spinning oi Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I do hope he hasn't, uh, I can't imagine he has, but I just wish he would f fucking stay off that stereo. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could actually put on top of that just to keep him off of it. Fucking electric wire. <laughs> right. <clears throat> anyway, when I was looking on eBay for a drive belt, which I found plenty of, for the, um, what is it, a TT-153 is the model, Marantz, um, found plenty, about 6 in British pounds, free shipping on a lot of sellers, but one of these also came up in my search results, um, well, <laughs> that didn't help, it's only lighting up that side. But yeah, one of these came up in the search results. Buy it now, £20. I didn't look to see what the shipping was, but um, he said his has got the same problem mine had. He couldn't get the um, platter to spin, and uh, his tone arm wouldn't drop down. Um, so the belt was probably broken on his as well. But uh, the biggest difference is, um, with mine... I've actually got the proper Marantz CD player down the bottom there. He had a Philips. So I'm guessing his was replaced at some point. Perhaps the Marantz one died and he just got a replacement. <clears throat> um, so I actually feel pretty um, great that I've got the original Marantz CD player. Hey. I don't really want to replace this. <laughs> but yeah, I can't 
I don't think anything's broken, nothing's cracked. I've just been waiting for that to happen because he keeps jumping up there and I keep turning up and keep off it. But you know what pets are like. Oi, shithead. <laughs> Come here. Nah. All's forgiven, you clumsy bastard. Right, anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, I got that toy from Mums yesterday. Another one. So I've now got three record players, and only two of them work. <laughs> and, uh, this one's a Dynatron, which is an English brand, or was an English brand. Uh, Transpower SRX 24C. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, suppliers of radio, gramophones, and televisions. Yep, because apparently, back in the day, Dynatron was the Queen's favourite brand. Uh, which could st probably goes to show that they are pretty good quality. If royalty loves them, then they've got to be good. But uh, anyway, this does work. Although them speakers I've got connected are absolute shit. <clears throat> but it came with um, a little cleaner tool there that bounces on a thing there, you just sit it on there and run the disc, the disc, the record and it cleans it. Got a spare stylus in the box there. Radio works, I've just got to connect up antennas to get a better signal. <clears throat> it's got VHF, MW and LW, and of course VHS is now known as FM. But, uh, yeah, it's all working. You've got all your sort of tone controls and things here between these two. Treble and bass, I think that is. Volume control. Balance. Select. I can even connect a tape deck to that if I can find um, a cable. <clears throat> a cable that probably doesn't exist. I don't know. It might. It's like a five pin DIN plug. But if I want to use my Marantz tape deck, I'd have to have a 5-pin DIN plug to RCA. <clears throat> I'm guessing my Dynatron might be older than this one, because this one's got headphone socket. That one doesn't. And that one's got the built-in radio, the Ferguson doesn't. The, Fergus the Ferguson over here is just a turntable. With them god-awful sliding switches. God-awful, because I always got full of shit. I always had to keep them clean. I need some proper contact cleaner. I can clean those. <clears throat> Tried WD-14. It improved them, but... Still not a great deal. Um, yeah, Cat's Custom Trikes requested a photo, but because it's up here, and it's now dark outside, and this camera is being complete shit at taking photos, and I can't get the right angle up here anyway, um, I just decided to put it in the video. <clears throat> well, I was going to put it in the video anyway, you know, because that's what I've been doing today. <laughs> um, that's why I've put the gear shifter because she does have back problems and I thought putting it here would be better than putting it here where she would, you know, have to bend down to shift the gears. At least with it there she hasn't got to bend down. The same with the dual action brakes. I mean, she can if she want, you know, brake her there. It's up to her, but I've got the option there for, you know, if she did choose to ride it proper style like that, at least if her back starts playing up, she can, um, sit a bit more upright and 
still use those brakes. <clears throat> See, I think ahead. <laughs> yeah. On a lot of ladies racing bikes, they put the lever up here anyway. <clears throat> right, so I've just got that bolt to sort out, which I've got a drawer full in the cupboard. Oh, my voice is disappearing. Jesus. I didn't think I yelled at the cat that much. <laughs> right. In here, and in one of these, here it is. I've got all of these. And those are bolts for seat posts. Some of them are for head stems as well. Handlebar stems. Could put a proper rally one on, as it's a rally bike. Could do that actually. Will that one go through it though? Is that one long enough? Excuse me. Let's <coughs> put you there. Let's get a bit of light on the subject. I still haven't found that bit for my racer to upgrade the brakes. Well, then again, I haven't even been looking. <laughs> it's probably why I've not found it. And that slides in there, go on there. Washer, and a nut. Seats down as far as it will go because that's quite a tall frame anyway, and she's not much taller than me, so. Look, that seat does look like it's at a funny angle. Cobwebs all over it where it's been stored outside. <coughs> anyway, I have got photos of those because I used that camera on a cable. And that adapter I made for it, because I still haven't got the um, battery for it. But it has taken some decent photos, at least some uploadable photos. Because when you're selling something, you don't want a shit photograph, do you? It's not going to do you any favours. If people can't see clearly what it is you're trying to sell, it's going to put them off. That's quite an old stem. See, Biggles has given me all this to sell, so we go halves on it, but I've got no idea what it's worth. I'll have to do a bit of uh, digging on eBay, I think. And I've still got that tub, which is just full of shit, basically. Stuff in here that I might put on like, on a rainy day or something like that one. It's not too bad, but I've got the best ones up there. Got some seat posts in there again. There's a mix of good and shit. That's the remote. It'd be funny if the cat's got the remote to work, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna try that later now, just for the hell of it. <clears throat> Actually, let's try it now, shall we? Let's turn it on, crank the volume down, because it's gonna. <laughs> Gonna blast my lugs out. Or would you believe it? He has actually got it to work. Although mute doesn't actually mute it because I can still hear it. Mute just puts it down to a level, you know, where uh, you can hear each other think. <laughs> I don't believe it. He's actually fixed the fucking remote. It's working absolutely fine, this remote. <laughs>
Yep. I don't believe it. Because this was on top of the record deck when it fell off. Or got knocked off, I should say. So, that crashes. <laughs> Go figure. He's actually fixed the fucking remote. <laughs> Come here. You've actually fixed the remote. You demolished the record player in the process. But you have fixed the bloody remote. It's working. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep, I shared this. Share if you know what these are. I know what they are. I might have been like a toddler when these were sort of being phased out, but I know what they are. And actually, anyone that's into records or anything should know what they are. They're the little um, centerpieces because some records had them where you can pop the centerpiece out and pop in a new one. <coughs> and that's exactly what they are. Nemo, could you get your ass out of my face, please? Am I hungry yet? No. It's <laughs> a short answer to that. Da -da 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 I can't get over that. He's actually got the fucking remote to work. <laughs> I don't think he's damaged the record deck. Heck, it's old school technology. They're built like brick dummies. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here, I think. Or end the video here, I should say. I don't bloody know. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, I've got no idea what I'm up to yet tomorrow, not until Mum phones later. See if she's able to uh, run this stuff across the Cats Customs Drakes. And I'll be picking up a bike frame and... Was it some wheels? I can't remember. Wheels or something. There's wheels or tyres or both, I can't remember. So, yeah. I'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.